Well, hello, fans and friends. I'm here this afternoon in my studio, and I'm going to unbox an artistic. Oh, you can't see the end of it. Well, let me see if I can move that down a little bit. Artistic Studio Easel. I've been wanting one of these for quite some time. And... I always thought they were too expensive, but the price came down uh, a little bit, and shipping was free. That's important. So here I am. I got this box. I'm I'm really impressed with the way that they they package they package the easel. And I got this box. I don't know. It's been several weeks, and it's been sitting in my garage, and I just haven't had time to to open it. So I thought I would unbox it for you today. Now, I may not be able to put this together right away without reading some instructions, but we'll give it a shot. We'll take it as far as we can, and if I run into trouble, huh, you won't get to see it till it's finished. Ooh. Look at this. This is just totally awesome. Here, I got a pack, a little packet. And this says, this was assembled, altruistic, artistic studio easel was assembled and packed by Carl Sergis. Carl Sergis. Well, thank you, Carl. I'm excited to get this and let's see if we can put it together. Well, first of all, Here's a doodad. I'm not sure what to call this doodad, but it, it helps support the canvas when you get ready to put a canvas on it. And then I've got a box here. Oops, me and my knife again. I've got a box inside a box. So let's see what's inside this box, if anything. Aha! More of the gadgets to attach to the, the thing I just pulled out that I called the doodad. So, we'll have four doodads. Aha, look at this, look at this. It comes in a, in a carrying case. So, if I wanted, I suppose I could go out and play an air paint. Oh, heaven forbid. Well, right now it's too cold. Well, I can kind of discard this box. There, gone. And see what we got in this case. I'm so excited. Aren't you excited? Oh, for me? Should be. So, okay. Velcro, Velcro. Don't you just love Velcro? <laughs> Zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh my. Oh, here's a little compartment. I wonder what's. Suppose, oh, it's got some things in the little compartment. Ah, oh, I see. It's got a strap, carrying strap, shoulder strap. And then it's got a wrench and a little tiny screwdriver. See that? See? Oh, I can't. I forget that uh, the camera's up here. So anyway, see the wrench and the little tiny screwdriver and the shoulder strap. I may not use this shoulder strap, though. just depends on what I'm doing. So let's set that back up. Now I can discard the hearing case while we put the guess, put the rest of this together or attempt to put it together. Shouldn't be too hard. It is a tripod. Look at this. And it looks like a very sturdy tripod. Well, I can probably get rid of that. So, and look, it's got these legs that telescope. Ha, ha, ha. You know, like most. I'm going to get over here where you can see me. Most uh, tripods. Just take it all the way down. Oops, that was in the way. And how do I get past that? Oh, simple. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, there's that, that. Oh my, this is gonna be too tall. I'm gonna have to adjust it. There's 
that. And the third one. All right, let's spread these legs out. <laughs> ah, it's kind of stiff, and that's okay. You wouldn't want it too loose. All right, now I'm going to lower this because... There we go. So that I can work with it a little bit better. And I'm thinking this has a, yeah, it does. It has a bubble, a, a level or bubble. I don't know. I think I still, I think I want it all the way. Down so you can see it just a little bit better and I can work with it a little bit better. How's that? Yeah, that's gonna work better. There. Oh, and this telescope's up. Cool, very cool. All right, let's see what we can do, what kind of damage we can do with the rest of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll put these over here. Now, this just fits on there. Cool, 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 cool. There we go. Hey, that's easy enough. Well, I think I'm getting the gist of it. All right, now let's put these on. And they go right like this. I think, yeah, I know they do. There we go. I need something to boost that down with. So I'm going to take this little... I probably got something here. Let's see if this will work. Ah, there, 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 there. That worked. Now let's put the doors on. Ha ha! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it here this time. Again. I'm talking to myself, you know. I'm not really talking to y'all. But if you want me to talk to you, I can talk to you. There! Got that one on. That one's on. That one's on. Okay. Now, I need to move this one back a bit. Ooh, that's bent. Or maybe it's supposed to be. Well, let's move this one back. So... Okay. Ooh. There. No, 
Well, that don't make sense. Huh. Well, this comes out. Like that. Okay. This comes. That doesn't. I've got two opposite. Oh, I see. I put it on wrong. I put it on wrong. Duh. So this. This needs to come out completely. Ah, oh, crap. Wee. Wee. Well, it's not ready to be wee, wee yet. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do this. I need... If I can do it this way. I am making progress, whether you believe me or not. I really, 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 really am. Uh, there we go. Popped up again. Now, I can put it in here, like so, and in here, like so, so I've got it, yeah, but I could put it in further, okay, cool, all right, now I gotta work on this one. There we go. Now, you see, maybe you don't see yet. Let's see. I know what size that is. Shall we see what size this is? Hmm. 
Okay. Now you're getting the picture. You see, I can have it tilted. And when it's tilted, I can turn it around, upside down, whatever. And then also, let's see, where's that one? I can put it so that it's parallel. And I can work on it flat. But it's too high. I need to drop the legs some more to actually work on a canvas flap. It also, these arms expand or contract, whichever way you want to look at it. And I think this little gadget probably would help me with those pop-up things, whatever they're called. So we'll try it. Okay. That should help. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. This works much better than my pen that I was using. Uh oh. What happened to the little thingy? That's not good. I'll have to figure that one out. Okay. Now, I think it's as small as I can get it, but I'll show you, I think I'll show you, I'll try to show you. No. Well, my 12, hmm, that won't work. Well, I'll have to figure that out. I thought maybe that would work, but that's not going to work. So I probably need a... Let's see here. Oh, these expand. And then some more. See that? Of course you do. Oops, nope. Just put that back in. All right, let's measure what that is. And you get that. From there to there. Hmm. Yeah, that was 24, I think. That's supposed to be that way. Yeah, it has to be that way.
Oh, fuck. Sorry. That is obviously the one. Yep, it is. Oh, I see. Ah, come on. Come on, you're gonna pop up, buddy. Oh, crap. Ah! That's not good. There we go. Got it. Got it. There. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Now let's see if we can do this. So you see here, well, I'm not getting it to work like I want it to, but it makes like so. But you see, I can turn this upside down any which way. And then I've got it, I've got to tighten those a bit, but you get the idea. And then I can tilt it. Tilt it like so and work on it in that manner. Cool. And finally, I can work on it flat. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, I'll learn more about it after I read instructions. But that was easy, easier to put together than I actually thought it was. And remember, it's an artistic, artistic studio easel. So, fantastic. I have another toy to play with and which can help me be more creative. So, thank you for watching. And until I have another box to open, this is Jerry Hardesty at jerryhardestystudio.com in Salt Lake City, Utah.